So what's up y'all, it's Bowie Radley And I want to read off to y'all some of these RIAA uh, Gold and Platinum certification requirements Check the shirt Boom Bowie Radley Make sure y'all stream the album Mustard Seed uh, Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube Music, all of it so I remember some time ago I touched lightly on uh, the requirements for gold and platinum status for uh, music and I said something along the lines of uh, the differences between EPs and albums but I didn't have this in front of me at the time to really go into great detail so uh, I'll read this off uh, RIAA gold and platinum certification requirements now the RIAA I believe they oversee domestic stream counts album counts sales I don't think that international uh, totals contribute to the RIAA's accounting for uh, music success they only count uh, units streamed and or bought in America to my understanding so <clears throat> single award this award counts both downloads and on-demand on music streams on-demand audio and or video song streams are counted towards the thresholds required for certification at the formula of 150 on-demand streams being equivalent to one download sale single all versions count once toward certification so still 500,000 is gold and platinum is a million units multi-platinum is once you hit the 2 million units threshold interesting I'm not sure I guess this is just for a single it sounds like they're saying that <clears throat> excuse me for a single 150 streams is equivalent to one unit sold for a single and then if you were to actually download it then that of course would be one and if you were to purchase it it would be one so what that means is <clears throat> what that means is that if you want to go gold off just streaming alone uh, to go gold is 500,000 units if 150 uh, streams or units equals one unit that means 150 times 500,000 since that's the threshold to go gold means that you would have to stream uh, your single would have to be streamed 75 million times in order to go gold in the equivalency of 500,000 units and if you wanted to go platinum 150 times 1 million that's 150 million streams and if you wanted to go multi-platinum which is 2 million plus then it would be 2 million times 150 which is 300 million streams now of course uh, <clears throat> there's gonna be some people who download your single and some people who flat out buy it so that that's gonna take away from the uh, the exorbitant stream counts that you would need because your average independent artist is not gonna be clocking these types of numbers I don't think so. Not your average artist. These are for people who've got that marketing budget behind them. They've got a game plan all laid out. They've got some viral successes under their belts. Those are, in my opinion, those look more like uh, artists signed to label type numbers. Uh, artists signed to medium to big size label type numbers. And they've got the backing behind them to really push their brands and their music in front of the people in order to get their stuff to stream that high so so that's for singles and then we got the short 
form album slash the EP. <clears throat> so, the album for counts album sales, song sales, and on-demand audio and or video song streams at the formula of 1,500 on-demand audio and or video song streams equals 10 track sales equals one album sale. So essentially what they're saying is that 1,500 uh, streams equals 10 track sales. 10 track sales equals one album sale. So also that means that 1,500 uh, streams equals one album sale. They're all equal to each other. So 10 track sales equals one album sale and 10 track sales would also technically equal 1,500 of video streams. So if we're just focusing on streaming, once again, 1,500 streams of a short form album or an EP is equal to one album sale, that means now we're upping the ante. Instead of 150 streams being a unit sold, now we're upping it to 1,500. But if you do the math, 1500 divided by 10 is back to the 150. And it was 150 streams equals one unit sale for a single. Because 1500 streams equals 10 track sales, you do that 1500 divided by 10, it still breaks down to 150 streams per song equals a sale. So the math still checks out. So for a short form album, EP, 1500 streams which is also 10 track sales, which is also an album sale because, you know, 150 single streams is a sale. That times 10 is still a sale. 1,500 times 500,000, <clears throat> 750 streams of an album for that album to go gold. 1 million times 1500 a billion and a half million no no I, I did that wrong 1 million times 1500 streams that's one and a half billion streams to go platinum so to go multi-platinum 2 million times 1500 streams an album would have to be streamed three billion times to go multi-platinum this is an EP um, <clears throat> and so the requirements for something to be an EP it's a little bit confusing to me but it says uh, must include at least three but no more than five different songs average minimum running time is 30 minutes Average minimum running time is 30 minutes. So it has to be at least three songs, but no more than five. So between three and five song projects, as as us, as they may be referred to, will qualify as an EP. And then the full length album has the same uh, streaming requirements of 1500 uh, on-demand audio streams equals 10 track sales equals one album sales. So the math is still the same. To go gold, you would need 75 million streams of the album. To go platinum, you would need, I think we said, one and a half billion streams. And then to go multi-platinum, which is 2 million units sold, you would have to go uh, 3 billion streams for that album in order for it to do that. Now, I believe that the beauty in this is that if you have a very popular single or a very pop popular track on that album or that EP, then its streams alone could propel the entire project to gold or platinum status. If you have like a breakout single that's on all the radio stations and it's popping up in movies and stuff like that, then it's gonna along by itself get a whole bunch of streams. And if it ends up in that upper echelon and you know it has 
two and a half billion streams and the whole album since it's a part of that album has now essentially gone platinum to my understanding I could be wrong about that but I'm quite sure that's how it works so and then the, the qualifications for an album it says really actually it's not as specific as the EP but I take it if there's more than five songs then if it's more than five songs and probably more than 30 minutes long then it's technically a full length album so me personally I'd like to try to get an album between the 40 minute mark and the hour mark because it seemed like some of the best hip hop albums kind of land within that range of like 40 minutes to an hour and some change me personally and I think I said this on another video I get a little bit antsy when we get around that hourish mark if the album ain't done yet I start looking to see man how many more songs we got I'm tired of listening to this record so I think that's uh, the sweet spot is probably 40 minutes to 55-ish minutes or so something like that so that's all I got for y'all Peace.